Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop uh, right here in San Diego, California. And today I want to show you one of our custom guns that is ready to be shipped off to our customer. Uh, this started out as a plain black Glock 19 Gen 4. And we've done some uh, extensive work on it to make it a little bit more custom for our customer. Uh, the first thing you're going to see and we're going to talk about uh, is the X-Grip uh, on the uh, magazine and uh, how it marries up to the frame to give you a larger grip. Okay, this is a Glock 19, has a little smaller grip, so the concept here is very cool. The X grip goes around a Glock 17 magazine. So hence, this is a Glock 17 magazine, and you can see this is this X grip just goes and slips right over top of the magazine, and it fills up the space that the 17 magazine would have in your Glock 19. So it really does two things very effectively. It gives you a better grip, and of course, in the free states of the world here, of the United States, you get more rounds. So in the Glock 17 magazine, you get 17 rounds, whereas in the standard magazine that comes with the Glock 19, you get 15. So you get two extra rounds, but more importantly, you get a better grip. And now let me talk about the grip real quick, because the one thing I really like about the X grip is the fact that it's got a back on it. A lot of times there's magazine extensions that just come straight down. I prefer when I shoot to have that palm, almost a palm strike, on the back of the weapon, and I actually like to have some meat back there. You know, I could be honestly, be, I, I wouldn't mind having a little bit more, so I'm almost making a lot of connection right there. But you'll see that my hand is just big enough to kind of go over top of the uh, bottom of the Glock 19, and hence the X grip is a very good option. Now, for you really big guys out there who have really big hands, it's a necessity. You know, so we sell a ton of these to people who want to put the Glock 17 round magazine in their Glock 19, one for extra rounds, and two to get a better grip. So that's the X grip. And it's available in a whole lot of different flavors too. It you know, goes from the 19 to the 26 or the 17 to the 26. You know, so the little mini guns, you have an option to do that. There's also one for the um, uh, Glock 21 magazine that fits into the Glock 30 for you 45 fans out there. All right, here's the gun, let's talk about it real quick. I'll make sure it's empty, look inside, keep the gun pointing in a safe direction, squeeze the trigger. All right, now we have a safe gun to play with, right? Always wanna be aware, even though it's empty, even though there's no ammunition on this table, I still don't wanna point the gun at anything or anybody or, you know, that I don't wanna shoot. So just keep that in mind, all right? All right, here we go. Uh, first things first, you're gonna see uh, the a stippling job. Now, there's a whole bunch of different stippling jobs, and this customer selected the, uh, I guess it's the stippling style two. It's a medium point style two. Medium point is the actual size of the hole there. You can get in close, you can actually see the texture. Now, this is, uh, you know, a, a two-fold process in a sense that one, it's, you know, there's a, an attractiveness to it. It looks good. You know, people like the way it looks, but it really does bite into your hand. So this Medium point stippling gives you probably the best grip because it's you know kind of big and it just really you know will hold your skin so you're not going to slip around and the reason you do that is because if you have a grip on the gun and the grip is slipping as you shoot multiple shots very fast your accuracy will suffer so the grip is really the foundation of your indexing. So as you put the gun out, you want to keep it in the same spot. If you shoot and there's a lot of vibration with the gun going bang and it starts to slip around a little bit because your hands are wet or because the slide or the uh, frame is uh, plastic and it doesn't uh, have a lot of texture to it, hence the sights are moving. And if the sights are moving, you're not going to be as accurate or as consistent and consistency is accuracy. Accuracy is consistency. Boom, boom. All right. Okay, so speaking of accuracy and consistency, let's talk about the sights. We threw on the um, HG, HD, excuse me, the Trigicon HD sights in yellow. Now, what's really cool about these sights that I like, you'll notice the big yellow dot out front there. But more importantly, in my mind, is the larger U in the back. Now, that allows you to put that big yellow dot in there quickly for fast combat target acquisition. Now there's a difference between combat target acquisition 
and bullseye. All right, so combat is, hey, there's a target out there 10 yards and in, and you want to get on it, da 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 you know, and, uh, and multiple shots fast, whether it be for competition or self-defense. Bullseye is, you know, hey, you've got a 25-yard shot, and you're out there, and you're squeezing the trigger, and you really just want to place one shot into one spot, you know, exactly where you want it to go. These aren't really bullseye sights. You know, the, in fact, if you want a bullseye sight, you have a very small, thin front post and a very small, thin rear notch. Because the smaller everything is, the less error will be extrapolated at distance. So hence, you know, for bullseye sights, you know, and or, you know, the guys who shoot uh, NRA bullseye, they want a really thin front sight and they want a really thin notch in the back because that's going to give them the best accuracy over time. Now, uh, that's great for, like I said, when you're up here shooting and breathing and really looking and studying the sight and really uh, making sure it's in the right place. Uh, for fast target acquisition, though, it's a little bit more challenging with a thin post and a, um, a, a thin notch to get them lined up properly. So the concept here is a wider notch. It's a U-shaped with a larger front sight. And that allows you to work the sights faster. All right? It's kind of a funny way to say that. But if you think about it, you're working your eyes to work the sights to put them on the target. The faster you do that, the faster you're more likely to be accurate. So if you can work all that faster, where you can get that big front post onto your target, you're going to have fast, accurate shots. So those are the Trigicon HDs. We sell a ton of those. It's available also in a, um, an orange front uh, post, as well as they have what they call the uh, HDXR sites. Now, they, what they did is they said, okay, well, a lot of people didn't really like the fact that that was not as precise because it's such a large dot. So they made a smaller front post, narrower, and um, it kept this the same basic size, I think, in the back there. Uh, but that XR, because it's a smaller notch, a smaller uh, front post, it's going to be more accurate at longer distances. Because what they found is that big dot at 25 yards will cover most of your targets up in full. So you really can't see the target. You just have this dot over top of the target. So you don't really know where the front or the middle of that target is or the X-ring of that target is. So, but they're great sites and they're made by Trigicon and you can't go wrong with Trigicon. All right, so that's that. Now, <clears throat> let's look at a couple other uh, things we've done here. And one of the things that I love to do on all my guns, all my Glocks, is this uh, Glock knuckle cut. So it's right here underneath here. And you can see, you know, what we've done. We've kind of scalped it out and we left it smooth because this skin here on your knuckle is somewhat tender. <laughs> and so when you get up underneath there, you can see exactly how it marries uh, the, the spot. Look at that. See how your finger gets up there? And it does two things. One, it eliminates the callus that one gets when they shoot a Glock a lot of times on that particular spot because it's typically straight and it comes down right like so. Now, because of that, uh, it, it uh, is much more comfortable to shoot. But the other thing it does more significantly, in my mind, you know, I mean, a callus is no big deal, right? More significantly, it allows you to get a higher grip up on the gun. And because you have a higher grip up on the gun, you can control the recoil better. I mean, really, that's one of the, the, the hidden secrets about a Glock that people, not necessarily everybody knows. I've talked about it before, but let me tell you, what, what it, really, the secret of the Glock is the fact that your hand on a Glock versus any other handgun is higher up in relation to the barrel than any other gun. And because of that, you're able to recoil or control the recoil better than on any other gun. I mean, that's one of the secrets and one of the reasons Glock's so popular. Not the fact, you know, not to mention the fact that it's reliable and all that, those other things, but the fact is you can get a better grip on this gun and it's much more pointable than any other gun available. This knuckle cut helps you even get an even better grip. I mean, it's just a little bit better and that really makes it much more comfortable. The other one you're going to see is kind of cool looking, uh, but it does serve a function. It's the uh, trigger undercut and basically it's for the offhand. So you come up here like so, boom, and then there's your grip. So this allows you to you know, have a, a, a spot to uh, lock into, but also to feel that it's consistent. Again, we left it smooth because we don't want to have any texture on there because we don't want that vibration to tear you up a little bit. But also, it just feels good. And there's your grip right there, like so. And again, like I said, you can get very high up on the Glock uh, as opposed to any other gun. 
All right, so now let's look at the uh, uh, the frame a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and look at the, uh, the trigger, uh, excuse me, the we call them the uh, finger groove deepening. All right, let's see if we can kind of see how deep they are compared to the factory. So this customer wanted a little bit more pronounced finger grooves. Some people can't stand finger grooves. Other people really love them. If they fit for your hand and they work for your hand, they do give you a better grip. I mean, absolutely. If your hand is a little smaller and the Glock frame feels a little bulky, this is a great way to get it a little smaller because you're basically reducing the diameter of the entire frame or the circumference, I should I say, all the way around. And because of that, you can get a better grip and you can hold on to it tighter. And hence, we go right back to accuracy. You're going to be more accurate with a better grip. So these things not only look good, they're functional. They have a reason. There's a reason we do this to the gun because it does make you a better shooter. Um, another thing to look at here is the uh, uh, what we call our moto cut. So we took the factory slide and we cut it up and we lightened it up a little bit and we made it look cool. It's just cool looking, you know, so it's a good looking piece. All right. And there's all kinds of designs and, you know, I mean, everybody has their preference. Uh, we do them all. You know, we, we have, you know, about 10 that we're, you know, do a lot of because they're kind of our signature cuts. But uh, people want to do custom stuff and they come to us all the time and we do custom as well. I mean, totally custom. These are custom, of course, but I mean, these are ones that we have done uh, and, uh, and advertise on our, our websites. So they're pretty cool. Now, one of the things about the uh, slide cuts, of course, they look cool, right? Yeah, but the fact of the matter is it does reduce the weight of the slide. Because it reduces the weight of the slide, there's less felt recoil when it cycles, all right? Because most of the recoil that you feel when you go bang is not the bullet itself. It's the slide coming back, the weight of the slide, the inertia of the slide coming back, and then going forward. That's what the recoil is all about. So it's, it's you know, it's not, like I said, the bullet, it's the inertia of the weight of that slide coming back and forth that you, you know, makes the gun jump a little bit more. Now, of course, the bullet has a little bit, but more so the weight of that. So the lighter the slide, the less inertia, less jumping of the actual gun itself. So there is a function there behind those cuts. All right, now inside the gun, what we've done, of course, is our pyramid trigger. Now, the pyramid trigger is the most popular adjustable trigger on the market today because it really does make a difference. First of all, it's available in different colors. This is it's an aluminum shell. We actually, you know, uh, aluminum body, should I say. We actually machine these out of a, a bar stock of aluminum. They're made here in the USA, right here in San Diego, as a matter of fact. And um, they're available in different colors. So this is black and silver. And, of course, uh, that's very popular because it's kind of cool looking. So it's attractive. But what it does is it, it, it incorporates all the safety features, but it then the pyramid trigger reduces the overall trigger pull, the actual length of the trigger pull, and also the weight of the trigger pull. And because of that, it makes you a better shooter. Now, the reason is, is that, you know, with a Glock factory, you've got a long trigger pull, and as you work that trigger, you're moving the gun, and the gun's moving around. I'm exaggerating, of course, but the gun is moving at all times. It's always moving. When your hands are up here, they're always moving. No one's still exactly. Just the heartbeat alone makes you jump. However, because there's less motion with the pyramid trigger and less effort to pull, you're less likely to disturb the sight picture as you engage the trigger. That's the key here. Okay, So you're less likely to disturb the sight picture as you engage the trigger, especially when you're firing rapid shots at multiple targets. Because that's when it starts to, you know, your, your grip and your stance and your, all your techniques really come into play because that's when everything starts to show how good a shooter you are. Anybody can get there and shoot one shot. It's really how, to, you know, can you shoot two and two and two and real fast and keep uh, good tight groups? A lot of that comes down to the pyramid trigger. Most competition shooters have some type of uh, aftermarket trigger, and many of them who work with a Glock have the pyramid trigger because it is the best one available. Okay? All right, now... The other thing that we sell a ton of, which you have to have in your Glock, is the Tungsten Guide Rod. This is a Gen 4 Tungsten Guide Rod. It's got a Gen 4 head. Now, we make these heads available in different colors as well to match up. He's got it in silver to match all these silver accessories. Okay, he's got silver uh, uh, magazine release button extended, uh, silver extended slide stop lever, and the silver slide lock or disassembly 
uh, or takedown lever. All right, so they're all silver there. And so obviously he kept the head of the tungsten guide rod in silver as well. Now, tungsten guide rod is a dead weight under the barrel, under the slide, that helps mitigate the inertia of the slide coming back. Hence, it doesn't jump as much. It is probably the most important thing you can do for your Glock. It's probably one of the least expensive things you can do for your Glock as well. It, uh, it really does work. We sell a ton of tungsten guide rods and everybody loves it. There's not a customer that I've ever spoken to who has had anything bad to say about the tungsten guide rod. In fact, they all say, wow, I want it for my other gun. And that's what happens. They come to the shows, they buy one here, and then they buy another one. They buy one on, the, on our website, they come back and buy several more because it really does make a difference. I don't care which Glock you have or what you're shooting, whether you're a competition shooter or just a plinker, you're going to feel it and it's going to feel better with a tungsten guide rod. Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, we've got them all, and you should have a tungsten guide rod in your gun. Okay, what else have we done here? I think that's it. Okay, well, the one thing you're going to probably ask yourself is, well, what about that finish on the slide? Because it's not the factory finish, and that's correct. This customer requested the black gloss or the gloss black Cerakote. So you can see it's kind of shiny. You know, it has a little sheen to it because it's a gloss finish, and it's black, but it's darn cool. And this is the uh, Glock 19 Gen 4 that we've customized with the uh, X grip to give this customer a larger grip and uh, to um, uh, basically uh, get a couple extra rounds in there. So it's a custom gun that we're shipping off. Uh, we do a lot of custom guns and uh, we've got a pretty good turnaround time. You know, it's not like two years, <laughs> but um, you know, we're looking uh, always for ideas too. If you've got something you want to do that's different than what you've seen here or any of the other videos I've done, call us. You know, we're into making custom. And we do a lot of one-offs, and we do a lot of things where people, okay, I like this and I like that, and they mix and match them. So the idea is if you've got a custom idea, you've got a Glock, you want to make it a better shooter, give us a call. We'll help you build a Glock that you'll be proud of and that will make you a better shooter. I'm letting Miguel. This, of course, is the Glock store here in San Diego. We've got a retail showroom. We've got custom Glocks on display. You can come down and shoot them for yourself just to try them out before you actually do one for your own. So uh, if you're in San Diego, drop by. You know we're going to be opening soon in Nashville, so we'll have a retail store there too. And I definitely want you to come out and see us there too. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.